Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Wild Wednesday. First and foremost, I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. All that great stuff because life is too short otherwise. Uh, hopefully you're watching some great movies, binge watching some good series, uh, maybe, maybe hanging out, playing a few video games or whatnot, doing whatever it is that makes you happy. Because life is short enough as is without being happy. Uh, and you know something that does make me happy, speaking of, is if you guys like, share, and subscribe. I'm getting up to that 170 marker. Let's see if we can get it up to 175 by, by, the, uh, uh, by the end of June. That would be, that would be awesome. Uh, um, being that it's, it's already May 27th, I don't think I'm going to get it by, by the end of May. But hopefully by the, by the end of June, that would be awesome. I I would I would be very very happy camper. Once we get up to 200, I may do a little contest to give away a movie. I'm not really too sure yet. Uh, it's a DVD, brand new, un unsealed, and everything. So uh, if you guys stick around and if, if you can find some friends to to come pop in, who knows? I might pick their name to uh, get this uh, wonderful DVD. Uh, it's definitely one not for everybody. It's one for the extreme masses only this one is extremely depraved and in one that you cannot watch with everyone so keep that in mind um so today's one today's is a is a fun one it's from 1990 i'm going to just show it to you right now because i really like this this double feature artwork that vci and mvd did for this um is this is from 1995 this is mommy um it's running at an hour and 29 minutes uh, ish um i didn't uh, i forgot to double check the uh, timer i'm just running off what imdb said on that one i probably should have double checked it but uh Usually with films like this, they're usually spot on uh, because this is one that I doubt there's anything that has been cut or removed because this is a very conservative, straight-laced horror film. This is made in good old Iowa, uh, where I am from. Uh, in, unfortunately, uh, we are very, it's a very conservative state at, for certain things, and uh, we've only had a few big films made here, and these two are ones that I remember fondly as a kid, or at least I didn't see them until um, just this week, but fondly as a kid, um, seeing them at the the uh, uh, video store, like I would see them all the time, um, and they were constantly renting, which always cracked me up because it's like I, as a kid, I I didn't think it would be anything good. Uh, I wished I would have watched it. I probably, I more than likely would have liked it. Uh, I did really like it this time around. Uh, but like I said, it's very conservative horror. There's not a lot of blood. There's no gore really at all. There's a couple of gunshot wounds in this towards the end. Uh, well, go the middle of the th or the beginning of the third act. Let's say. Um, there's there's not a lot of that in here. Uh, like the uh, most vi that's probably the most violent death in the entire film. Otherwise, there is one where um, uh, what's which actually I don't want to get to that yet. Let's let's hold up on that. Let me show you this release first uh, and talk about who's in it. We got Patty McCormick who is from uh, the Bad Seed. She that's like her big claim to fame. I think she was uh, nominated for an Oscar for that. That's how how good she she played that role. Uh, we also got Jason Miller in here, which I believe he was the guy that was in The Exorcist, played Father Marion. No, that was uh, uh, Max von Sydow's char character. But the other one that was with him, the one that uh, uh, jumps out at the end of the movie, out of the window, and smashes himself up, and is also in Exorcist number three. He is also in Mommy, the first one. We also got Majel uh, Barrett, Mickey Spillane from the old Mike Hammer. I believe it was Mike Hammer series, uh, the old uh, uh, sleuth type, crime fighting sleuth, uh, 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 private eye type thing. If if memory serves me, that's what uh, what he was doing on that old show. And I believe they made a bunch of old movies as well. Uh, we also got Brink Stevens, who is always lovely to look at. I like Brink. She's one of those that she's got. A very unique look um uh it always 
always catches my eyes. I, I like her. She, um, first movie I always think of, unfortunately, is The Nightmare Sisters, just because I know that one, like, inside and out, and, and it's got her and Linnea Quigley in it, and they both have a nice uh, uh, bathtub scene together with a, another girl, another scream queen, which um, that scene sticks in my brain rather rather well and and uh like any warm-blooded uh male that or straight male excuse me um anybody that's into that kind of stuff male female or in between you guys will like that scene it's 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 nice and steamy uh, we got Gary Sandy, we got Arlen Schneider, we got Paul Peterson, we got Del Close, and then Rachel Lemieux is in here. Um, she play, she's in both one and, and one and two, uh, which most of, a lot of the characters in this are in the second one as well. Um, uh, Patty McCormick does come back for that one, along with Rachel Lemieux, which um, right away you see there's it's a double feature of Mommy, so so you know right away that it's going to end open ended. It's going to be an open ending to go into a sequel. So do keep that in mind. Um, you can buy this. I think I got this for like ten bucks off of the MVD sale, uh, eight bucks. Something I got it really really cheap, and that's um, one of the reasons I jumped on it. Uh, the second being that I've always been wanting to see these films. Um, growing up in Iowa, you know, I always saw them at the theater or at the store, like I said. Um, and this is directed by Max Allen Collins, which this is the only real thing that I know him of. Uh, he did. Oh yeah, I forgot he did do uh, um, some. He did something for Road to Perdition. That was his big, big, big claim to fame. Besides these two films here. Um, now let's look at what what we got here. Like I said, this is from uh, MVD VCI. It's a three disc set. Uh, it's Blu-ray. The first feature is on the Blu-ray. Uh, disc two is a DVD, and that has first feature and second feature. So this second disc on the DVD is the only way you can watch the second feature, which you can tell that they they uh, did not uh, up, upgrade it to Blu-ray format like they did for this first disc. They really cleaned and polished up uh, this movie. You can it almost uh, when you go into number two, it almost feels like it's uh, shot on video in some ways shot on shot on her uh, uh, a very very cheap film it's it's a uh, a very um, inexpensive film to, to to have made and then you got your third disc here which has got all your special features in there there's a little PBS documentary uh, there's uh, some bloopers there's trailers there's a Leonard Malton thing on here a uh, nice little interview with Patty McCormick and uh, 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 Max Allen uh, Collins, gee, meaning Chris, Christmas, Matt, you're stumbling left and right. Um, let me do show you. There is an alternative cover art. Um, I really like that artwork. It's very cool looking. Uh, something that I can get behind. I, I, blah, blah, blah. I switched to the other one just because I it. I watch it as a double feature, as it should, uh, as it's intended to be. Um, whoo. Alright guys, what is this thing about? Um, oh, and by the way, this is ABC Region Unlocked. This is region free. So if any of you guys overseas are curious about this one, uh, this is this uh, uh, you can you can definitely watch it on your player with no no issues whatsoever. <coughs> um, what is it about? So basically, mommy is a uh, uh, one of those crazy PTA moms. She she basically goes above and beyond uh, what uh, what they are supposed to do. Um, like she is constantly pushing her her child to to do better and and do things like that. Um, she basically. She loses her mind because her child doesn't win the the student of the the year award for for I believe it's the fourth or fifth year in a row um, uh, that she's won this award. I believe it's the fourth. Uh, um, but she she is very very clearly upset that she did not win it. Uh, she she's upset that a a uh, Hispanic kid has won it, and she makes it almost kind of a racial thing. Uh, she makes a a PC derogatory term about it. Uh, 
was very stuck out um, like a sore thumb. I'm not gonna lie. It caught it. It. it, it took me back a couple steps and I didn't even like I had to rewind it and replay it to make sure I heard what I heard <laughs> um, not that I get offended easily I'm very hard to offend um, I just uh, uh, there's certain things that that uh, you know stick out and that's one that really stuck out it, it, to it, really stuck out so Patty McCormick's character, she goes to the teacher and basically asks her why um, she has not given her the the plaque. Uh, the whole time, the the mother and the the uh, teacher are kind of there's a little bit of bitterness going back and forth between them. You can tell that the teacher is uh, not the biggest fan of Patty McCormick's character. Um, and likewise, uh, the teacher is up on happens to be up on the ladder and is is decorating for a kids. Uh, I forget exactly what holiday it was, but it's something for the kids, and she's she's decorating and she happens to fall off of the ladder and break her neck. Uh, that quickly ensues to what the movie is basically about: Did mommy do it or did she do it? Um, and everybody that gets in the way in between that uh, uh, may or may not get killed. Um, there's not a high body count. Just to let you know, between both of them, there's a very, very low body count. I think between the two of them, there's probably ten, bot, ten uh, maybe eight. So it's not, don't go into it expecting a, a blood fest and expect mommy to really, really go crazy. It's uh, definitely not like the stepfather or anything like that. Um, so, they basically, are, she is on the run, she goes on the run at one point, they find her and the daughter, and they are, it's hard to really say things about this movie without giving away too much, because it is so, so basic, it is, um, like, when you watch this, it unfolds and builds just like a standard textbook uh, film that that is got a mystery thriller type type uh, atmosphere. It is very by the book. Like, your camera angles are very by the book. Uh, they are mostly planted to the ground, your ca camera is, and and you have a lot of, 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 of uh, still camera shots, um, panning and scanning. There is, uh, like, it is, it is almost, um, it's just above amateurish, so that's why I say it's a basic uh, textbook. Um, there is uh, good, solid acting, I will give this one. Uh, both... Uh, um, both uh, uh, Patty McCormick and uh, oh shoot, um, Majel Barrett. I think he was in he was in both of them. But um, our, I believe it was the Arlen Snyder character. He uh, he he's in like if I can remember closely. There's he plays a, a insurance investigator in the first one. I'm it's not Majel. I have the wrong person. But um, this character um, in the first one, she, he plays a investigator for a uh, insurance agency because it just so happened that um, uh, Patty McCormick's for, former husband had died, and she had gotten a bunch of money through the insurance. Uh, so they were based; they were investigating that to see if uh, see if she murdered him or not. Uh, it's very easy to 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 figure this movie out. It almost plays out like a bad uh, forensic files or or one of those like ID discovery like murder porn type um, uh, television shows. It plays out very very much like that. Uh, it's not documentary style like those are, but if you were to uh, make a full length a feature feature length movie with with uh, the actors and the production values that they have you would have pro and you follow this storyline you have mommy so keep that in mind um, what else do we got in here uh, there's a whole bunch of nothing really it's it's not uh, one that uh, 
I can say a lot about. It's very dull. It, it gets boring. Uh, not boring. I take that back. I retract boring. It's extremely entertaining from beginning to end. Um, but don't. It, it, it's quite dull. As somebody who watches like Serbian film and and like trauma and uh, uh, the August Underground films, this is definitely quite quite dull compared to those. Um, now let's get on to ratings of this one because I really don't want to give away too much on this one, just because uh, that's not my thing. I don't like to give away a lot on movies. It's it's lame in my opinion. I hate to do the whole spoiler alert thing for you guys because it's I find it very lame. Um, so I'm gonna give this thing a three out of five on the uh, technical side. It's like I said, basic, run of the mill, uh, not anything to to basically. Um, Nothing that's going to win you any kind of awards, any not anything like that. Uh, but you could show it to a film class and 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 use this as a perfect example what to do to make a successful film, at least a, re, a regionalist successful film. Because this never really really got big until I think now is is the first time it's getting a uh, wide release. I could be very wrong, but uh, I don't remember seeing this in any anywhere else but here in Iowa. Um, so let's get on to entertainment side. It's another one. It's a three out of five. Uh, middle of the road. Um, there is good acting, like I said. Um, what little special effects are in it are entertaining. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, not bad. Uh, like I said, there's two gunshot wounds. Or there's two. Uh, there's a gunshot uh, victim in, in it. And that is probably the most, uh, uh, excuse me, the most violent out of all of them. And uh, it is it is very it's expertly well well done. I'll give it that. So let's give this thing a six out of ten. It's just above average. Not anything that's gonna um, uh, rock your world or make you make you uh, want to go get a mommy tattoo uh, <laughs> or a mommy shirt. Uh, uh, maybe maybe you will because it's I do really like the artwork of this one. It's fun. Um, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm at 17 minutes. I talked about mommy for 17 minutes. Holy crap. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not 100% what I got lined up for you. I think it's going to be an SOV title. I'm not for sure. But Friday I do have locked. And Friday is an, um, a freaking amazing little movie. Love your faces.